Despite widespread interest in the Hermetica across the globe, currently there does not exist a reliable and up-to-date English translation of the various Hermetic fragments and testimonies. Indeed, some of these fragments and testimonies remain generally unknown. This volume presents in New English Translations the scattered fragments and testimonies regarding Hermes Thrice Great that complete Brian Copenhaver's translation of the Hermetica in 1992. It contains the 29 fragments from Stopaeus, including the famous Cori Cosmu, the Oxford and Vienna fragments never before translated into English, an expanded selection of fragments from various authors, including Zosimus of Panopolis, Augustine and Albert the Great, and testimonies about Hermes from 38 authors, including Cicero, Pseudo-Manetho, the Emperor Julian, Alkindi, Michael Sellis, the Emerald Tablet, and Nicholas of Cusa. All translations are accompanied by introductions and notes which cite sources for further reading. These hermetic texts will appeal to a broad array of readers interested in Western esotericism, including scholars of Egyptology, the New Testament, the classical world, Byzantium, medieval Islam, the Latin Middle Ages, and the Renaissance. At the turn of the 20th century, G.R.S. Mead made a translation of select fragments into Victorian English from now outdated editions. The translation of the fragments by Walter Scott in 1924 was based on his own written Greek text, a jungle of emendations and transpositions. When it came to testimonies, moreover, Scott did not actually translate the Greek or Latin texts. He only rendered into English via Latin translations, texts originally written in Arabic. The present translation serves a new generation of scholarly and lay readers of the Hermetica. It remains faithful to, though critically engaged with, the various manuscript traditions. Copious notes provide historical background, parallels, and references for further reading. Included also are many testimonies that Scott did not print. It's hoped that this volume will spark interest in the full reception of the Hermetica, which must include late antiquity and the medieval period.